There are seven small WordPress hacks I use on every site. For example, commenting for WordPress is enabled by default and in order to disable it, you need to install a plugin. But instead of installing a plugin for every small thing, I just use those small hacks. So if you're interested, what are those seven hacks, then jump in and I'm going to show you. So let's start with disabling the commenting system here. First thing I need to warn you that you need to copy and paste some code snippets. The link to those code snippets are in the description of this video. And you have two options. First option, you need to paste this code to the child team's functions PHP file. But if this seems too technical for you, then use the option I'm using. That means go to plugins, add new and search for code snippets plugin. This plugin here allows you to add all kinds of snippets without needing to modify the functions PHP file. And if you deactivate your team or switch your team, all those snippets still work and you're not going to lose them. So install the code snippets, go to snippets and add new. Give it the title, for example, disable comments. And now paste this small code snippet here. Leave it as run snippet everywhere, save changes and activate. And now if I refresh the post, commenting system is gone. Next one, as you see, there are emojis here. I'm not using any emojis on my sites. Also, if I inspect the site, open up the network, refresh it, open up the scripts, I see there is an emoji here. So that means even if I'm not using those emojis, it still loads one file every time. And it also adds one request here. Now let's see what happens here. Currently our site size is 84 kilobytes with nine requests from the JavaScript here. Once again, go to snippets, add new, give it the title and paste this code here. Choose only run on site front end, save changes and activate or you can run the snippet everywhere. Let's refresh it and see what happened. As you see, there is no emoji script here. We have eight requests and now we have 70 kilobytes. So basically it loads 13 kilobytes less resources. Next one, and this is a hack number three and it is about the widgets. Let's go to the widgets page. As you see, there are lots of widgets and I'm not using most of them. For example, I'm not using the audio or, or archives or calendar, all those old WordPress widgets. Therefore, I want to reduce the clutter here and I'm going to rem remove those widgets. So let's yet add another one. Unregister widgets and paste this code here. Basically, this here tells you what kind of widget it will remove. Only run in administration area, save changes. Let's go to the widgets and much better. Now, as you see, there is also a tag cloud widget. I don't use this also. Therefore, I'm going to add this one here. Save changes, refresh and it's gone. Hack number four. Let's go to the library. As you see, there is a file author uploaded and date column, but sometimes I need to see what is the file size here. So for example, I'm going to upload a file, go to library and there is no file size. Sometimes I need to know whether the file is optimized or unoptimized, especially if I'm managing the customer's sites. So I'm going to add the file size column here. Go to snippets, add new, give it the title and paste this code here. Choose only run on administration area, save changes. Go to media library and there it is. File size, this file is four kilobytes. Let's take a look. It's correct. 
Hack number five. Let's go to the dashboard. As you see, it's also a cluttered one here. The more plugins you use, the more cluttered it gets. For example, Elementor adds its own box here and so on. Gravity form adds one here. But I'm going to remove all those here without needing to just check the boxes. I just add the snippet here. Remove dashboard widgets and paste this here. As you see, there are comments. What is what? What does it remove? For example, this one here removed the site health box. And by that, I mean this one here. Only run in administration area, save changes, refresh, and voila, much better. Now you can add your own boxes here if you want. Hack number six. Let's go to pages, add new, and add some random blocks here. Let's imagine that I'm going to save it as a reusable block here. Add to reusable blocks, column, save. But where are the reusable blocks? You need to know that you have to go here and manage all reusable blocks. There it is. With the help of a small hack, I'm going to add the menu here, which directs us to the reusable blocks. So go to snippets, add new, give it the title, reusable blocks menu, and add this small piece of code here. Only run in administration area, save changes and activate, and re reusable blocks are here. Much easier to navigate. If we want to change the position, then just change this priority here. For example, 100 moves it down bottom. Number 1 moves it up here. I'm going to leave it to 10. Hack number seven, let's go to plugins, install plugins. If I enable auto updates, then every time the plugin updates, the email will be sent to me. And it's really uh, annoying. Therefore, with the next hack, I'm going to disable the notification for auto updated uh, plugins and teams. So, snippets, add new, disable opt auto update emails, and paste this code here only run in administration area. Save changes and activate, and it's done. And now the bonus hack for you. So hack number eight, it is about the text compression or gzip or browsing cache you see on the GT metrics and so on. As you see, currently the grade is F, performance 37%. And it tells me that I need to enable the text compression here. Therefore, go to your, therefore, open up your FTP, find the HD access file, open it up, and paste this code here, just before the begin WordPress part. This part here resolves the leverage browser caching issue, and this part here resolves the gzip compression issue. I'm going to save it. And let's retest the site. Go up here and retest. It's going to take 20 or 30 seconds. And let's see what is the result. As you see, instead of F, we got E with 45%. And there is no GZIP issue anymore. We can test it also on this site here. Let's refresh it. Inspect, Lighthouse, and Generate Report. It's going to take also 20 or 30 seconds. Performance is 53%. And now let's add the same code to the HD access file. I'm going to open it up and paste the code here. Save it. And now I'm going to generate new report. And Performance went up from 53% to 70% with this small hack. So these were the eight small WordPress hacks I use on every site. Hopefully they are useful for you. And if you find this tutorial helpful, then support this channel by subscribing. 
press thumbs up and you will be the first to be notified about new tutorials. Meanwhile, take a look at the next video you see on this screen here. It's also very useful.